Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. We have been doing a lot of things. We have learnt a lot of Japanese and we have done a lot of forms. We have also done conversation, we have described pictures, we have done listening comprehensions and lot of vocabulary, some kanji, new pictograms, also how and where and what kanji is. So well today I will not tell you about grammar or any of this, we will do some more listening comprehensions which are a must. You have done grammar and you know how to write sentences, you know how to speak, but also your hearing has to be good. You have to understand what is being said. So well, today we have a number of uh, listening comprehensions for you. Listen to it very carefully and then try to answer the questions that are given here. So the first one for you is, what I will do is I will read the conversations and I will do it very slowly so that you understand it properly. The conversation is between two people, A san and B san. So well, I am reading the first one out. Rao san wa natsu yasumi ni pari e ikimashita. Tanaka san to Rao san wa ima pari no hanashi o shite imasu. France no shuto wa nan desu ka? Pari desu. Pari wa donna machi desu ka? Nigiyaka de kirei na machi desu yo. Pari ni nani ga arimasu ka? Kawa ya ohashi ya shiro ga arimasu. So shite furui tatemono mo taksan arimasu yo. Omoshiroi tokoro mo taksan arimasu ka? Mochiron arimasu yo. Yume na bijitsu kan ya yuenchi nado ga arimasu. Tabemono ni nani ga oishi desu ka? Keiki ga totte mo oishi desu. Tanaka san zehi ichido pari e itte kudasai. So well, this is a small conversation for you between Tanaka san and Rao san. The names are not used over there. So please try to figure out who is saying what. The questions are Pari wa dochira no shuto desu ka? Shuto is capital and the words that you do not understand please you could look up in a dictionary. Pari wa donna machi desu ka? You could also refer to your lessons and see where these words are. Doshite hito wa pari ga suki desu ka? Pari ni bijitsu kan to yuenchi dake ga arimasu ka? Dake means only and we will do some things that have been left out through these conversations. Imi o kaite kudasai. So well you have these words over here. Soshite mochiron zehi totemo ichido. Soshite of course is and, mochiron is of course. Zehi is must as is being used in the conversation. Zehi uchi e kite kudasai. Zehi pari e itte kudasai. Please must must go to Paris. Zehi sono ega o mite kudasai. Kore wa totte mo oishii desu. It is very very tasty. And ichido kono ega o mite kudasai. Please see this ega once. Now you have dake over here. 
take. Take means only. Noun plus dake. Watashi wa juice dake o nomimas. I only have juice. Watashi wa kocha dake o nomimas. I only have kocha. Or you could also say watashi wa kocha dake o nomimasen. I do not have kocha. I do not have kocha only, that is the only thing I do not have. So, you can use dake in this manner. Uenchi over here is your uh, amusement park. So, you can use these, make sentences with these and you will feel comfortable. Now, the second one is again at a shop, you can see it is written mise de and again a conversation between two irashaimase sumimasen akai kutsu arimasu ka hai arimasu suimasen misete kudasai okyakusan size o hakatte mite kudasai Kore wa dou desu ka? Ii e, akai kutsu ga hoshii desu. Ah, wakarimashita. Sugu o mochi shimasu. Ano, chotto chisai desu ga, mo chotto ouki no arimasen ka? Chotto matte, shirabete mimasu. Kore wa dou desu ka? Um, kore wa ii to omoimasu. いくらですか？五千円です。そんなに高くないね。じゃあその靴にします。ありがとうございます。So well, there is this conversation between A and B. Now there is one thing which is new. すぐお持ちします。Immediately. I will get it is what is new. You can go over the conversation and answer these questions over here. Mise no hito wa nani o utte imasu ka? Okyakusan wa nani o kai ni koko e kimashita ka? Okyakusan wa nani iro no mono o kaitai desu ka? Mise ni そのものはありますかこれはどういう意味ですかこのノーの意味は何ですか And please write the meanings of these. いらっしゃいませ。そんなに調べてみます。お持ちします。I just told you. So, well, this is what it is. Then we have another conversation for you. This is between Tanaka san and Rao san. So, well, Tanaka. Tanaka san wa itsu nihon ne kimashita ka? Rao. Kyonen no sangatsu ni kimashita. Tanaka. Nihon de nani o shite imasu ka? Rao. 今勉強が終わったから会社で働いています。田中、休みの時何をしますか、ラオさん。ラオ、ゆっくりしますが、今度の休みに野球を見に行きたい。田中、野球が好きですか、ラオ。テレビで結構見ます。でもまだよくわからない。田中。じゃあ週末に二人で野球を見に行きましょう。そこで野球についていろいろな説明もしてあげます
So, there is one new word over here ni sui te and there is one more word which is coming an expression which Rao san uses over here waza waza arigato gozai mas or mashita waza 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 so ni tsui te is about something kore ni tsui te about this thing kore ni tsui te about this thing hon ni tsui te about the hon tanaka san ni tsui te about tanaka san i will tell you or i will tell you about the hon i will talk about the hon i will talk about my country kuni ni tsui te hanashimas so i will talk about my country so ni tsui te is about as is given over here yakyu ni tsui te setsume is explanation and shite agimas is i will do all the explanation for yakyu and tell you is what it means waza waza is specially for me now listen to the dialogue carefully and answer the questions given below rao san wa ima nani o shite imasu ka rao san wa itsu mo yasumi ni nani o shimasu ka rao san wa kaisha kara yakyu o mini ikimasu ka tanaka san wa nani nitsuite setsume shimasu ka and well imi o kaite kudasai yukuri kondo there are two meanings that you need to write yukuri which is slowly gradually and kondo you can write over here then we have another conversation there are a number of such conversations for you to practice this is basically for you to get comfortable to feel comfortable with the language so well there's another conversation here between suzuki san and kato san kato san anata wa mekisuko e iku to yu hanashi o kikimashita so desu 5月の末に行きます。奥さんも一緒ですか今度、妻も子供も連れて行きます。今回は何年ですか And k a t o s a n says, 2年ぐらいです。その間にお母さんは姉の家で暮らします。それはいいですね。So well, This is another conversation. Go over it again and again, and I am sure you will be able to answer all these questions listed over here. Suzuki san wa nani ni tsuite kikimashita ka? Kato san wa gogatsu kara doko ni sumimasu ka? Oku san wa issho ni ikimasu ka? k a t o s a n wa nan nen kan Mexico ni imasu ka? O ka s a n wa k a t o s a n ga inai toki ni dare to issho ni sumimasu ka? Suzuki s a n wa sore ga i desu to imashita. Do yu imi desu ka? Ni nen gurai no imi wa nan desu ka? There is ni tsuite again coming up. Doko ni sumimasu ka? Ni is for sumimas, u then nan nen kan is there, which we have done. So, you have so many of these things that we have done earlier in our classes, 
and you can in these lectures and you can refer to them. Now, you have another one A and B again. Let me just read it out to you and I am sure you will be able to understand, though I am not going to use A and B this time, just the conversation. Shokuji ni ikimashou ka? Hai, oishii mise ni tsurete kudasai. Ja, Rao san wa washoku ga ii desu ka? Chukari yori ga ii desu ka? Washoku no hou ga ii desu. Ja, sore de sushi ae ikimashou. Sumimasen desu ga, watashi wa nama mono o taberu koto ga dekimasen. そっか、残念ですね。じゃあ、天ぷらはどうですかそれは大丈夫です。And you have the meanings of these words. 和食 is Japanese food. 生物 is uncooked food or raw food. And mono could be anything over here. It is referring to Meat. Questions given over here now. I am sure it is not a problem. You could also make up questions over here like Tanaka san to Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka or doko e ikimasu ka. You can also come up with a lot of your own questions and ask your partner an answer. Reading comprehension. Well, there is another reading comprehension here for you. You can go over the reading comprehension, just read it out on your own as it is given over here and answer these questions. This is about something which we have done in class. You could write them and answer. Then we have another conversation for you, another listening comprehension between A and B again and what is the situation let us see. Moshi moshi, Rao san no otaku desu ka? Hai, sou desu. Amit to moshimasu ga, go shujin wa irashai masu ka? Sumimasen, ima imasen. 10時ごろ帰ります。ああ、そうですか。では、その時また電話します。はい、お願いします。失礼します。Now read the conversation and answer the questions. Now you have to tell where they are and who they are talking about. What they are doing? Who rang up? Why they rang up? Who they were asking for? What they were doing? So you can answer these questions. Rao san no uchi ni donata ga denwa o shimashita ka? Uchi ni dare to hanashimashita ka? Rao san wa uchi ni imashita ka? Rao san wa nanji goro uchi ni kaerimasu ka? Amitsu san wa mata denwa o shimasu ka? Shimasen ka? Dewa sono toki wa dou yu imi desu ka? Please answer these questions. Then again there is another one for you listening comprehension 8. Between A and B again, a small conversation. Rao san wa indo de dono gurai nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka? Indo de nishukan gurai tomodachi no oto san ni oshiete moraimashita. Sore kara ima gakko de nikagetsu ni natte imasu. 
本当ですか上手ですねひらがなやカタカナも習いましたかいいえこれから自分で勉強をするのでいい本が欲しいですそうですかあのねいい本がありますから貸してあげますよ頑張ってください So well this is a conversation between two people as I told you what it is about where they are what they want what the person is asking you can please answer these questions the meanings that you do not know are given over here you please have to answer these questions after listening to this comprehension and then we have another one for you again a and b sumimasen hai irashai mase この英会話の本はいくらですか ?3000 円です。漢字の本もありますかはい。どうぞ。すみませんですが、英和辞典もありますか申し訳ありません。今、英和辞典はありません。でも来週に入りますので、その時、電話をします。じゃあ、日常会話の本と漢字の本をください。はい、ありがとうございます。一緒に包んでもいいですかいいえ、漢字の本はプレゼントですから、きれいに包んでください。はい、わかりました。ああ、お土産ですか。そうです。友達の誕生日にこの本をあげます。友達は日本語を勉強していますかうん、そうです。Now listen to the dialogue carefully and answer the questions given below. I hope you heard the dialogue and now answer the questions. B さんは今どこですか何のためにプレゼントを買いますか買った漢字の本はいくらですか友達は何の勉強をしていますか英和辞典はいつ来ますかどんなものをあげますか申し訳ありませんはどういう意味ですか Answer these questions. Where they are, what they are talking about, what they plan to do, how much is the book for. You can make a few questions on your own and ask your partner. Just listen to this passage and then answer the questions. So far, you have only done dialogues. This is a passage, and try to make some questions on your own on this passage and answer the few that are given after the passage. Well, I'll just read it out. 昨日はいい天気だったから学校の友達とハイキングへ行きました。東京から大阪まで電車で行きました。大阪からバスに乗りました。電車もバスも人がいっぱいだった。3時ごろ富士山に着きました。近くの店でお昼を食べました。そして疲れていたのでその日はどこへも行かなかった次の日に私たちは5キロメーターぐらい山を歩きました山の空気はきれいで緑も
美しいです。昔、そこで有名な人が俳句を書いていました。友達はたくさん山の写真を撮った。私たちはハイキングから晩の11時ごろ、うちへ帰りました。みんな疲れていたけどとっても楽しかった友達はみんなもう一度富士山を見に行きたいと言っていました。So well, this is a small passage. Lot of things, some forms that we have done have been covered over here. You will see most of the time mass form is also used, plain form is also used as I have told you in class. Plain form is informal and mass form is more formal and considered more polite. Plain form is to be used with people you are informal with and people your age or younger to you. Mass form is to be used with people who are older or informal situations. はどこへ行きましたか東京から富士山までどうやって行きましたか彼は誰と一緒にハイキングへ行きましたか富士山はどんな場所ですかみんなそこでどれぐらい歩きましたか富士山に着いた日に何をしましたかじゃあ皆さん、ハイキングの時、自分で何をしますか、それを書いてください。どうやって行きますか、誰と一緒に行きますか、お弁当を持って行きますか、持って行きませんか、どこでハイキングに行きますか、そこで写真を撮りますか、撮りませんか。それについていろいろ書いてください。And the meanings are given over here. The one meaning that you may not know or the one word that comes in the conversation which you may not know is haiku. And haiku is a form of Japanese poetry. It's very famous and it is related to nature. To environment. It is a specific form and done in a specific manner. You can read more about haiku on the net. Now, this was your listening comprehension. Listening comprehension is important, as I told you earlier, because you need to also get used to hearing it and feel comfortable with the language. We have done Lot of grammar and lot of talking, lot of conversation. Listening also we have done, the hearing comprehensions we have done. Now there is something for you to write. That is also important, that is essential. You have to make sentences all the time because sentences make you feel comfortable. Well, there is this picture for you, interesting picture where you have Tanaka san in office. And all those of you who want to write can write a story also on this picture here about Tanaka san. I will give you a few hints, but I will give it to you in English. I will not say it or speak in Japanese at all. All of it I will try to tell you in English. For example, you can say Tanaka san gets up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Takes a shower, has breakfast with his wife, and then goes to office by subway or by train or by bus. He works in office from 
9 o'clock till 6 o'clock in the evening. He is very busy. He meets a lot of people there, writes a report, also has food, also has a meeting with his boss, eats lunch at about 1 o'clock and then after working for some more time comes back home by train around 8 o'clock. So, you can write the whole thing. These are very simple things that I have told you just now. You can also write another story if you want. You can weave another story around this picture. There are people sitting over there. There is a lot of lot of uh, you can see a lot of things on the table. So, you can write about that as well. You can have an imaginary imaginary watch over here and talk about the watch. So, you can write anything you want and use the forms that we have done and covered in our lectures. This will help you also in speech. So, try to do that. There is another picture for you. We did this picture just in our last lesson I believe and you can see this gentleman sitting over here talking on phone, thinking about something also writing over here. So, again you can write something that while, while talking on phone he is working or he is busy doing something or writing a report preparing for a presentation or maybe for a kaigi or a meeting. So, you can weave another story around this picture and write something. You can write simple sentences, you can write complicated sentences, all that we have covered. There are more pictures for you. There is another picture of a family. Here you could you could talk about how old they are, how many people are present over here. You could use a lot of counters, who is wearing specs, who is not wearing specs, how many children are there, how many people are wearing white suits and how many people are wearing dark suits, who has short hair, who has grey hair, all what is their age. Also you could weave a story about a family where people are working at different places. You can mention those, how they go to office, how many hours they work over there, who all they meet. So, all those things can be covered in this. You can practice all of that. You can use a few expressions. For example, this gentleman has gone somewhere, he goes to someone's house with his wife and you could use expressions like ojamashimas or dozo ohairi kudasai or arigato gozaimashita, mata aimasho or uh, any other expression that we have done and maybe when they return home you could also say tadaima and okairi nasai. The kids are sleeping or they are studying or they are playing, you can use those forms. So, all those things can be done, not only just the picture, you can weave a story and write about it. Now, of course, this is interesting. We have done something like this earlier in our lessons with Dango, with Setsubun with Hanami. So, well this is another picture over here and you can look up on the net, you can see what it is. It is Japanese of course, how you make this you can figure out, you can try to write about how it is made, what all ingredients are used, how they eat and how interesting it is, how we can use it in our food. So, you can try doing that with this picture, look it up in on the net and see what all you can find from there.
And now, one thing I would like to tell you, I've been telling you a lot about Japanese, about Japanese people, about culture, about proverbs, about things they do, what they would say in a situation. So, about culture, one interesting thing is karaoke. Now, what is karaoke? Karaoke is, as you can make out from the word itself, kara and oke. Kara and oke. It is made out of two words. Kara means empty. It is empty. There is nothing in it. That is kara and oke comes from orchestra. So, well, orchestra in an empty box or a place is called karaoke. And one interesting thing about this is that most of the time in English when you say, you say karaoke, which does not have any meaning in Japanese. So, when you are talking in Japanese, please do not say karaoke, say karaoke. That is the correct pronunciation and as I just told you, kara is empty and oke is from orchestra. So, there is lot of material you can get on the net about karaoke, what it is, when it started and now what the Japanese do. Well, it is interesting, everybody wants to sing, everybody wants to sort of express. So, you would be very shy to sing in front of people, what do you do? Well, you could go to these karaoke places where you have these karaoke boxes, they are empty boxes where you have a system. Put on your headphones, take a mic, just switch on to whichever, put on whichever song you want to sing and the lyrics will be displayed, the music will be there, but you have to sing the lyrics on your own. So, well, you can look at the lyrics, they are displayed and you can practice your song over there. That is what karaoke is. This is just a small uh, photograph, a picture of how karaoke is done in Japan. So, these are just boxes. Go into this small 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 room and start practicing or singing. And it is very entertaining and very relaxing. You can shout and scream as much as you want, sing to your heart's content and feel very, very happy. It is a simple karaoke booth and there are lots of things about the Japanese. There are, there are a number of things I would really like to tell, but it becomes a little difficult to cover everything in this small 40 minutes and over 40 lectures. Well, let us see how many we can cover and I try to tell you as many as I can. Today, we will keep it at this and not go any further. We will try to do something new next time. Do these um, listening uh, passages and conversations, practice them and try to do the questions, the meanings, they will help you a lot. With this, I will try to end the day. So, mina san, kore de wa owarimasu, kondo mata aimashou. Hai, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much and we will meet again soon.